It's actually gonna be Charizard jungle and Sylveon. That's the Sylveon at least. Or the Sylveon. Charizard Sylveon. All right. This might be some double jungle stuff they like to do as well sometimes. And we have a Cinder Ace last week for tens. Five guys with Hoopa Blissey, Serena, Nine Tails, and Cinder Ace against Lucario, Blastoise, Vinitav, Charizard, and Sylveon. All right. Game number two. This is the match of the week. Pretty good one. We have five guys against random gaming, so quite the interesting matchup. Two of the best teams in Europe in a draft format. And this is the yeah, this is the thing that I mentioned. They actually like sharing buffs with this team comp. The Charizard Sylveon that I used to play already sometimes. They both take the Lily Pup, share them, and then they both take one buff. So Sylveon gets held four very fast, and Charizard just goes ganking top lane very fast. That's what they like to do. They secure Sylveon a very, very fast level four. And he's gonna take the Copfish as well. And then he's gonna be very, very aggressive very, very early on. Meanwhile, we have the side of five guys with a 2-1-2 trying to get and actually kill. Wow, they already get a kill on Redmore this early into the game. Bruff on the Hooper with Potato on this arena, getting a kill. That's level 4 Sylveon now. Can he, can he find a counter kill? Vazid is dropping very, very low, but just run away. And uh, yeah, we have the double jungle, you know, the solo queue double jungle actually working out in their favor. <laughs> Making the solo queue meta a competitive meta. Vazid is very, very deep right here. Aegis is just recalling. Is he gonna walk towards top lane? Oh, he's walking towards top lane. Okay, they're just gonna fight top lane with Sylveon. The Lucario is quite weak right now. They did die, so deciding to make top lane a 3v3 as well. See how many get very strong in these early fights with Hyper Boys, making sure his top lane maybe gets ahead. And I think he got the big B as well. Tens now looking for some auto takes on ADC and he's dropping kind of low. He has to be a bit careful. He has a focus band, so he does get away. Looking at bot side, we have a goal getter Blissey getting some scores in. Evolves to Blissey as well. Unlocks the safeguard now. Can, uh, yeah, nice, nice pound as well. Getting the Rodinos there too. Now saving his top lane. Shari does going back to the jungle. So we have some very interesting rotations. And Bruff actually dies. Bruff gets picked off by Aedisu. Very unexpected mistake by Bruff there. Just dying in, out of nowhere. He's going to run towards bot lane now. He's going to leave Potato on his own on top side. And uh, Potato just trying his best to get some stacks and has to be careful though now. Next Hyper Voice, he gets slowed by the Baby Door Eyes, but he just gets out, right? Yeah, there's a Focus Band as well, but uh, they're gonna get a lot of scores now from the side of Random Gaming. Potato with the drop kick as well. I do like it in this game. The uh, side of Random Gaming has very melee heavy teams, so drop kick is pretty good into it. And Gatlu actually just dying. Gatlu getting a score in though, so he's probably still happy with that and it doesn't matter what. And it's the 3v2 on top again, but tens with a nice place kick over Lucario. Finds a kill, Potato not looking for use. Can he find him? Not quite. Tens just auto taking him and taking the berry away. Actually, no, he didn't take the berry away. Place kicks over him, has to be careful now. If the Skull Bash connects, no, he can't. It doesn't. And even read But the Hyper Voice! Tens actually dies. The Water Spot slows him hard enough for the Hyper Voice to actually kill him. Another huge mistake for the side of Five Guys on top side. Potato not looking for a stomp, but I don't think he can find He's gonna die as well. Yes! Gets taken down. Bruff has to be careful now. 5k is just completely dropping the top side. Dying on multiple Pokemon. And is, you know, looking for Bruff maybe again. Looking for his level 8. He wants to be level 8. Gonna have Unite move on Dread quite easily. That's why Saban is a pretty good character still. One of the rare characters who has a level 8 Unite together with Blissey and um, Biggie Tough. So, yeah, very, very strong in these first fights. Looking for the Corpus for level 8. But Dread's already kind of. No, Dread is still full HP. But the Dread fight is starting. We have a level 9 on 9 tails. 9 tails is level 9. So it's gonna be a huge factor in this team fight. But get saying no, there's nice full here though. Hits a huge unite move, but it goes over to Charizard. Charizard somehow getting dread now. Watch rookie trying to find some kills, gets one. But Tens also just died already. There's the Vinitaf unite. On one HP living, Potato's not gonna fall asleep. ADC with the next hyper voice, but Potato's trying to turn it around. Can't quite do it. And now we get Porty back to base. Our camera's completely somewhere else. Lucario takes down Watch Rookie in the end. Nine Tails goes down. And Potato finds the kill on Sylveon as well. So one for one in the end as well over there. And a lot of action already in this early game. Potato not looking for a kill. It's already level 9. Finds the Blissey Knight also coming through. And uh, Luke Redmore's also gonna die. Nice two kills for the side of five guys. When I'm gaming a bit overextended. But no, no, the Unite move misses. Potato with the safeguard. It gets cleansed away. And my camera is completely bugged right now. But he still goes down anyways. Potato still dies. Blocks the Charizard Unite though. But they do kill the goal. And a double kill going over to the Charizard. Blissey also dying. 
There's a lot of farm up here. Potato is probably just gonna take it. Yep. Potato and Serena is gonna take this. Redman looking for tens. And tens has to be careful, but just unite moves. Will carry contact unite moving? Can you do anything about it? No, barely gets the shield, but that's a Charizard Unite. It's probably gonna take down tens. He's trying to go back to the Aurora Veil. Actually, no, he's not gonna die. They just auto take him to death. The veil is too strong. The damage reduction this entire teammates gets. It's too much, and Charizard just dies. Blast is looking for something. Gutlu is just gonna die. Gets picked. <laughs> what are they doing? Random gaming just feeding now. Nice unite by Potato, picking down the Blast Toys. But Rookie has to be careful now. The Stomps are going down. There's a Sylveon Unite. Also getting a kill. But uh, the Rotom is trying his best to also do some damage here. The Wiggly Tough Unite gets dropped for Sylveon and himself. But they're trying their hardest to defend him. That was back now. It's gonna have Unite move as well. Water Spotting and Tans dies. Potato's gonna die next as well. It's a complete just uh, fiesta right now. Vazid is also probably gonna die. It's wrap up slot by Blastoise. And that's three kills for the set of random gaming. 5k is trying so hard to push the Rotom mid. Can't quite do it. And now Hooper Unite comes in though. His entire team is gonna pot. And this is where Hooper is so strong in. Can just pot the entire team instantly to a fight. Our is already dropping very low. And it's gonna get a free dread though. So. Might have all died, but Hooper making a huge difference here. Tans can maybe go to fan top now. Aedis is trying to get some bees away. Some more experience for himself. He's going to get level 12 in the Carmine Plus anytime soon. Draft trying to steal it away, but can't quite do it. Aedis is stealing another Corpish away as well. Alright. Random gaming looking for push on bot side, but we have Potato here scouting. He's going to wait a bit. They drop kicks in, stops the score of Akroma. And uh, he's gonna run him down. Another storm goes down. He's gonna have another drop kick anytime soon. Is he gonna go for this? He does go for it, but that's just way too deep as well. And Blast is unite comes down, saves the big tough kids potato. And now random gaming can look for pushy. And meanwhile, five cast is also breaking topside, getting some nice scores in. And potato just completely tunnel visioning, wanting the kill so badly. And the killer backfire is quite hard. Bazid also almost dying. Listen, one HP. But Redmore is also way too deep now. He has no coins, can't really score, tries to get out, there's the extreme speed bone rush, and there's no way he gets out. No way he gets out. Bruff, bruff on the hunt. He's one auto attack. Nah, he's not gonna get out. He's dead. One auto attack, and there we go. There's a shadow ball for Bruff coming in. Even top side will fight. Rosh Rook is gonna die to the water spot. Rapid spin of Gatlu. Out of nowhere. Rotom is up now. We have one minute seven until Zepter spawns. So, quite a close game so far. Barely any point difference. Highest level in the game is currently Aegis here on Sylveon. On the C tier character, the entire community hating on Sylveon. Sylveon currently being the strongest character in the game. Charizard also hitting level 30 now. Can maybe reach level 14. There are many Odinos up right now though, so... Entire jungle side of 5 guys is up. They can still find off experience here. 10 is gonna hit level 13. Anytime soon now. Okay, maybe actually if he farms all of this he could stay get 14 if he really wants to. I would I would I promise he would like to go for it, but they're just gonna look forward the dread now actually. ADSU knows they're on dread right now because they see damage of it happening. So he's looking for a score on top side, but Tense is still around and he does know that Tense is here. Tense is gonna stop him. He has to be careful now, the blaze kick. Oh but he doesn't jump over him, he's actually kinda scared of him. But he doesn't know where the rest of random gaming is, but ADC is just gonna die, the focus back gets blocked. But it's not enough, and there's level 14, that's a huge mistake by ADSU. But nice by 10, just staying topside there, farming and uh, making something unexpected happen. Clap forward now, jumps on the blasters and Gatush is melting away to the Cinderace damage. There's a nice unstoppable unite move by 10 to, to dodge the blasters unite. Nice full heal. I mean, not the unite doesn't give chance. And now the Charizard unite gets unstoppable as well. Three are dead on the Serum Venom Gaming. And five guys just get Zeptos. They just get Zeptos. And that should be game. That should just be straight up game. Savion trying best to maybe do something happen, stopping them, but there's just no way. There's too many characters on the side of five guys running towards the base. Can really tough make them fall asleep, they do, but the score's going, Potatoes also gonna get their score off. There's 100, 182 going in. And it's a 240 point lead, currently for the side of five guys. Lucario making some scores happen on the other side. But it's gonna die to tens any second now, dies to tens. Oh my. Oh my. Random Gaming is still gonna try. They're not Serena voting yet, so looks like they still want to try one more time to make a push happen. Almost 300 points behind. Vazic is buying time, but if Vazic dies here, I mean, it could be hard to defend, but Vazic is buying so much time on the Blissey just running around. Alright, Random Gaming is going for a top lane push. They do have enough coins, so if they get kills, they can still win. It's still 40 seconds to go, but they have to completely team wipe five guys under Egoel. 
And uh, Serena probably has Unite up again. I wouldn't be surprised. Serena's very low cooldown on her Unite, so... Could be up again. Potato goes in as well. There we go, there's the Unite. Blaster is dropping his Unite. He's gonna try and score, but no, he can't. There's Shiny Zan Unite going in. Can they find any kills though? Watch Rook, he actually dies, but Hooper Unite is there. And I feel like there's just no way they can score against this now. Hooper Unbound is way too strong. There's no way they can push this off. Has so much HP, it's pretty much unkillable. Really tough Unite comes out. But it's not enough. Five guys take the first win in game number one against Random Gaming. Nicely done. Very straightforward Zepto's fight. GG's, looking at damage. We have Potato dealing 102,000 damage. Potato on the Serena. Topping the shards. There's the, well, there is Aegis Slash. There's the Aegis Slash. And last pick for five guys. Is it going to be my champ? Last toys. One of those two, most likely. Or Greninja. See, it's Aegis Slash top. It is Potato and Aegis Slash. And we have tens on Greninja. All right. That's the draft. We have Blissey, Hooper, Ninetales, Eggy Slash, Greninja against Lucario, Talon, Wiggly, Eldegoss, and Draladon. All right, we have game number two between Five Guys and Random Gaming. We have Potato on the Eggy Slash, and again doing it 2 1 2 on both sides, actually. Getting some more 2 1 2s again, in Europe especially. Eldegoss, Lucario, Toppling against Eggy Slash and Hooper. Both side we have Ninetales, Blissey against Vigitav and Draladon. Both carries doing the same, there's gonna secure their side Odinos, and we have a Vigli, we have a slap roll between two pink blobs. Which pink blob is gonna win? Akroma or Vazid? Who's gonna pound it hard up? Vazid gets it. Vazid pounds Odino to the ground, gets the first last hit, and just clapping each other on cooldown. Redmore looking for something. Potato gets the shadow sneak in and actually gets the last hit as well, but Potato's gonna be very low. Can Gatlu find the kill? But no, Redmore actually gets the kill. Gets another attack rate stack as well. Gatlu's gonna get some coins in, gets level 5 as well. Unlocks his every lace and look quite bad for the side of five guys on top side. Lucario is easily gonna be level five, which means he's gonna have extreme speed for the first bees. And that also means that five guys will have no chance. They have to be careful not to just die to Lucario on this first fight. But Eldegoss actually went to bot lane now after dying. Just recall went to bot lane now because they already know that top lane is gonna win, doesn't matter what. You see the East extreme speed is coming out now. Oh, there we go. Tens already dropping very low, but Gatlu has to be careful not to die. And Gatlu just dies to Potato. And Red Moss has to be careful now. Can Potato find him? Finds the sacred spot. Has a one boosted auto attack ready. He's gonna try and get to the berry. He does get to the berry. Extreme speed goes in. But no Potato! Getting the Lucario kill as well. Gatlu is being a bit too cocky there. And just dying way too aggressively. We have a rollout. A Chroma with a rollout. No sing in this game. And Aegis is dropping very low to the Nine Tails. And Potato on the sword. Putting in work so far. Akroma is very aggressive here. Can't really walk into these brushes against Rollout. Always gotta be a bit careful. Aegis you just secure that lasted there. Akroma's gonna roll out now anytime, but the fully gets dropped. Watch Rookie is aware of this. Can happening. So just already pre-using his full heal in case he gets rolloutted. Bruff just fighting Gatlu a bit. Gatlu almost level 7 now. Tens already level 7. Gonna find Aegis you maybe? No, they're gonna find Akroma. Akroma, I don't think he's gonna get out of this. He's gonna roll away. Actually, no, he rolls out very far. But Bruff is here, finds the astonish. There's the surf. Boosted auto attack to take him down. But a huge Brave Bird goes in. It finds Bruff. Can he find more as well? Vazid, focus band is procced. There's the safeguard though, and he does get a double kill. Double kill for the side of Gatlu. Can he find more? No! They actually turn it around. Tens getting a kill on Gatlu. And a Wash Rookie getting a kill on the Duralodon. Nice turn around by five guys. Sally my camera back to base. Sorry. Two seconds until B spawn. Let's look at Potato, how he's gonna fight this. Can, does he have any chance in this? He has White Guard now, which means he can fight, can fight it quite decently. And he gets the big B as well. Using the White Guard now, Potato with three boosted auto attack stacks is probably just gonna rotate to bot lane. Yeah, he's just instantly walking to bot lane now. Dread is spawning in eight seconds. One team has to draw on. So gotta be a bit careful. You want to be there in time. Bravo is very aggressive for here with this trick. The trick safeguard is so annoying to play against though. So hard to kill anyone. So many shields. And the rollout goes in, Akroma's going very deep, he has to be careful to just die, yes, rollout runs out, and Tentus, Unite moving in, can he find a kill though? Not really. Not really yet, Gatlu also stays Unite, 
And Tan's kind of just wasting his Unite there a bit, looking for the engage. And there's Gandu's Unite also hitting nothing. Both Shangnas getting nothing out of their Unite moves. Can they find the Surf though? Yeah, the Surf. The Surf gets Dread now. Gandu going in again. Can't do anything as well. Lucario gets absolutely murdered. Double kill for the side of the Greninja. Egg Slash finding the Eldegoss. Akroma rollouting in again. Is way too deep now. Potato is going to take him down as well. 40 going for Tan's. And they're going to slowly going to kill Akroma as well. There's the Sacred Sword. Potato securing one more kill for him. And Gutlu rotating onto top side. He's gonna pick up a lot of farm here. Is he gonna go just for Rotom? He just goes for Rotom straight up. Wants to get some experience for himself. Rotom actually gets good experience as well for the, the person that kills it. Um, so it's not too bad as well. If he gets his coins in as well with that, it's good experience for him. As you can see, it was a lot of XP he just got there. And it's gonna go in. One of them can score maybe a few points. So it's not the worst Rotom. But on the bot side, two more kills with the set of five guys. And a 30 overkill. A 30 overkill. Potato is huge in this game so far. Almost level 11. The going getter goes in of Blissey. 39 going as well. And already the decent point lead. Now Gatlu is here though. Can he can he find anything? Yeah, he's probably gonna die, right? He's gonna buy time, but he will for sure die. It doesn't matter too much. He got 39 coins and I think he's quite happy. Akroma getting 13 on top lane. Breaking the top goal as well. Level 11 on Potato already. Level 11 on Potato. Level 12 on Tens. As well, highest level in the game with a 2 level lead over Gatlu, who is not even level 11 yet. Potato's guarding topside. Let's see if Random Gaming does a small push here. Building up stacks on his boosted auto attack with the white guard. Just <laughs> there. Threat spawning in 20 seconds. Both teams know something is up. But actually, I like this from five guys. They have a Hooper, right? This is the Hooper factor. They can just go top lane, always score here. And if the enemies do push now, Hooper will just unite move and they can all move in towards bot lane. There we go. There's the Hooper portal dropped. And it's going to spawn behind Fire and Random Gaming. Now, Random Gaming is a super bad spot now. Under the enemy goal. But, but Bruffish is running them down. Akroma is already very low. Akroma is going to die any moment now. But has move speed from his unite move still. But there's the surf. No, the roll lots up the surf and Tens actually dies. The Bliss Unite can't get him as well, but Potato with the Bliss Unite just murdering everything. Can he find Edigos as well? Can't quite find it. Gets Brave Burden. Has to be careful using White Guard. Can he heal up a bit? Yeah, he can heal up, but he's 1v4, 1v3 now. Can Potato do anything about this? He's gonna heal up again. He's not in his White Guard yet and does get taken down by Gatlu. And Gatlu also getting Dread. Gatlu getting Dread. There was a huge rollout just kidding Tens in this team fight there, stopping the Surf reset. And Gatlu coming off huge, getting Dread, getting a kill as well. And is you know looking for something, but just get stunned and he's gonna die. A chrome also rolling into the enemy team is also gonna die. Ah, uh, random game instantly kind of throwing it away what Gatlu just achieved. Giving experience over to the side of five guys instantly. And uh, Tension's gonna farm topside. Level 30 now, 30 and a half. Potato looking for these pieces where just, he's just giving over to Tens. Like Tens just wants to be the highest level in the game. Yeah, Tens is a bit too aggressive sometimes for sure. But it was very close, he almost had the kill. And just, this was just a very nice roll by Akroma, denying the surf reset. And Gatlu's gonna die, Redmo's also gonna die, gets slashed by the Sacred Sword. Another nice kill for Potato. And Random Gaming just dying. Rotom gets secured for the set of 5 guys, Tens now hitting level 14, Potato almost level 13 as well. Now we just need 9 hits on level 13. Biggest power spike for 9 hits is level 13 with the Veil upgrade. Gives you 2 seconds less cooldown and 15% more damage reduction. But Tens just gets. Gatlu just murders him. Gatlu does not care, he just murders him. Potato Yanab moving. Aegis Flash is very low cooldown, so he can actually do this, but I don't think he's gonna do much with this. White guarding. Actually, no, he's gonna find a kill on Gyus. He actually kills him. Potato on the Aegis Slash. Going crazy right now. White guard is where he's gonna heal up. He has 4 stacks on his boosted auto attack right now. Misses the Sacred Sword though. And can we look to top again? Oh, damn. One more kill as well, Gatlu dying. Potato! On the Aegis Slash, make him look like a very good character. The boost auto takes against the small B though, doing absolutely zero damage. Alright, Zed was spawning in 30 seconds. It's looking very, very good for five guys right now in this game. Very, very good. Potato having the Aegis Slash game of his life. I think Random Gamer will just flip the Zed instantly. Five Guys has to move in. Five Guys is gonna waste a lot of time here. They're just gonna instantly flip Zepdos. I don't like what Five Guys is doing. They should be here. Five Guys should be in this position right here and not allow Random Game to even walk in. They're just gonna flip the Zepdos instantly if they allow Duraludon to walk in. That's exactly what's gonna happen. There we go. Duraludon Unite goes down and they're just instantly there. And it's gonna be a complete flip. Who gets it though? Who gets it? Oh, it goes over to Potato, of course. Potato gets the Zepdos. 
potato gets the Zapdos. Three are down on Cerebral Random Gaming. Aegis Q is also gonna die any moment now. Tense, can he find the kill on him? No, Aegis Q actually playing it super well. Training one for one, but there are three people running towards the side of Random Gaming. And uh, that's a huge lead for now. 400 points. There's the surrender vote. And Five Guys takes the series. I still don't like that they're. they're kind of, no, they have to be at Zapdos, guys. I feel like they have to be at Zapdos. But yeah, the flip happens. It goes over to Potato. Being the MVP of this game, I feel like. Nicely done by Potato. And that's a 2 0. Let's look at some damage numbers. There we go. Top damage still for the Nine Tails. And Gatlu, over 60,000. But yeah, nice games. GG's to five guys. With a very nice 2-0 over Random Gaming.